I've always been a dreamer. I used to get told off for staring out the window at school, but now I rely on daydreams to inspire me. I'm also a great watcher of the world. I especially love to catch glimpses of foxes, owls or deer in the woods. I want to capture that feeling and turn it into an object that will make people smile. I started out making silver jewellery, but a few years back I was on the lookout for a new challenge. When I came across automata, I knew I'd found the right thing. They're magical objects that have storytelling at their heart. I've always been a huge fan of stories, so I was really chuffed to find a craft that makes stories into a physical object. Lots of automata are made in wood, but I could see that I could make my own version using copper and brass. I grew up surrounded by beautiful art. My dad was a painter, my mum's a potter, and my granddad was a wildlife illustrator. I've gone in my own direction though. I love that I can take a wee bit of a story and bring it to life with a mechanism that makes things move. I think the end result is like miniature theatre. I work from my garden workshop in Cornwall. It's surrounded by trees and I can hear the birds sing as I work. I use traditional metalworking techniques. When I can, I use reclaimed copper wire from the ends of electric cables to keep my work sustainable. All the wooden bases are made from reclaimed hardwood or driftwood from the beach. I'm often asked if I can make pieces that have something personal in them to celebrate a wedding, an anniversary or a birthday. I've made automata with all sorts of dogs and cats and even parrots in them. It's great to be part of someone else's life in this way. I get the fun of making a new automata and the customer gets a totally unique gift that tells their own story.